we will be looking at the country of Italy and making a delicious dessert called tiramisu. Can you try that? Tiramisu. Tiramisu is a layered dessert which requires no baking. It is going to consist of ladyfinger cookies, whipped cream, and chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. As we create our dessert together, you can follow along with us at home Put it into the fridge at the end and in a couple of hours you will be ready with an extra special, super delicious dessert to feed to your friends and family. Italy is home to some of the world's most famous, most accomplished artists and two of them we have studied in depth when we were in Italy. What, what were those two artists? Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Very good. Leonardo da Vinci painted one of the most famous paintings in all the world. Can you remember what it's called? The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. And who is in that picture? Is it a dog? Is it a horse? It's a girl, a woman. And nobody knows exactly who she was, but lots of people have theories or ideas of who the Mona Lisa might have been. But she has some very cool eyes. Because when you're looking at the picture of the painting of the Mona Lisa, it's as if her eyes follow you from one side of the room to the other. Kind of creepy, kind of cool. Definitely a genius painter. Now the other one you mentioned was Michelangelo. Michelangelo was a painter, but he was also a very accomplished sculptor. And some of his sculptures are some of the most prized possessions within the art world. Can you think of one of those sculptures? The Pieta. The Pieta. The Pieta is a statue of what? Uh, Mary holding Jesus. And it's called the Pietà, which in Italian means the pity or the sadness. She's grieving over the loss of her son. That sits in a very famous cathedral in a city called Vatican City. Now Vatican City is in the middle of the capital of Rome. And not only is Vatican City a city within a city, it is also a country. It's a country. Can you imagine having a whole country inside of the city where you live? That's the way it is in Rome with Vatican City. So they've got this whole country, Italy, then the capital city, Rome, and inside of the capital city, another city, which is also a country called Vatican City. Amazing stuff. So the first thing that we need for tiramisu are lady finger cookies. That's those ones right here. They look a little bit like what, Devin? Lady's finger. A lady's finger, of course. Okay, so you need one or two packages of those. You can get those at any grocery store. You also need two cups of whipping cream. Could be normal whipping cream or heavy whipping cream, that's fine. We're going to be mixing that with some white sugar. So get a couple of tablespoons to a quarter cup of white sugar, which we'll be using to make our fresh whipping cream yummy. Then we are going to be dipping our cookies into some kind of wonderful, tasty something. We have three options for you today. The first one is jelly or jam. So in this jelly, we've got four different kinds of berries which are super delicious. Do you like jelly? Yeah. I mean, come on. We will warm up that jelly and we will make it into like sauce, which we'll use to dip the cookies into. Another option is to use chocolate milk. Who doesn't love chocolate milk? Not me. And any kind of chocolate milk is fine. It could be oat, it could be almond, it could be soy, it could be uh, regular dairy chocolate milk. Up to you. So that's option number two. Option number three is coffee. What kid doesn't love coffee? Okay, okay, a lot of kids don't like coffee, but some do. I know you love coffee, don't you? Yeah. Dad? Yes, you, you and your daddy like to drink coffee together from the time you were really little. So, another option for making a tradi more traditional style tiramisu is to use coffee. So those are the three options for the dipping. Now let's talk about our supplies. Supplies are what we use in the baking process. So to make our whipping cream, we are going to be using a KitchenAid mixer. If you don't have one this fancy, it's totally fine. You can use a hand mixer. Even a whisk will work. So the kitchen mixer is what we're using to make our whipped cream. We will be using this dish, which is a beautiful glass Pyrex dish, but any kind of dish will work. Also a trifle dish, which is a tall glass one on a stand that makes for a beautiful tiramisu, right? Yeah. And then we'll be using, of course, baking, um, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and at the end we'll do our finishing with our sifter. What are we going to put in here, Devin? Yes, the cocoa powder. And when we finish it off at the top, it's going to look gorgeous, darling. 
Okay, so let's pour in our whipping cream and add some sugar. So I'll pour this in, and then how about you add two tablespoons of sugar? Yes. Great, let's do it. And two, perfect. Down we go, and we'll start it out. Let's see, how long do we think it's gonna make to make some whipping cream? Five minutes. Five minutes? Could be. Let's see. So where does whipping cream come from? What does cream come from? Cows. Milk, yes, from milk, and milk comes from cows, yeah. And then what happens in the milking process is that the milk is poured into a special kind of a tool, and they separate the milk from the cream. And the milk goes to the bottom, and the cream rises up to the top. And that's how we separate milk from cream. Now, in fancy factories, they do it a little differently. But in the olden times, that's how they did it. So what's happening here is that we are mixing up the cream together with the sugar. And as we mix and mix and mix and mix, it will start to get light and fluffy. Now, if we kept on beating it and beating it and beating it, what do you think it would become? Cheese? Not quite, but close. Something we put on toast. Butter. Yes! If you keep mixing cream up over and over and over again, eventually it will become butter. So we have to be careful that we don't let it get to be too, 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 too well done, well whipped. Otherwise, we're just gonna be putting butter on our whip, on our tear we see. So step number two is to dunk our ladyfinger biscuits into one of the three flavor options. So we have chocolate milk, coffee, and melted jam. Now I've popped this into the microwave for one minute and melted it so that it's nice and runny so we can do the dipping part so it's not so chunky. Which one would you like to try first? Hot chocolate. Do it, let's see you do it. Okay, so go ahead and put it in once and then the other, don't get all the way in there. Pop it all the way in there. Don't be afraid to get messy. Just don't pull it over the plate. <laughs> there we go, straight to the plate. Okay, so this is option number one. Now. If you choose the chocolate milk option, you've gotta do all your cookies in chocolate milk, okay? You can't mix and match, otherwise it's gonna be a little bit weird in your final dish. Okay, let's try the coffee. Yummy, do you love coffee, Devin? Yeah. Yes, so good. Now this is the traditional way to do it uh, with hot espresso coffee in Italy. This is how they, they taste it there, but for kids, not everybody is okay with coffee. Make sure you're using decaf coffee if you do coffee because we don't want kids going too crazy. Okay, let's do the jam. There we go. All the way in, one side and then the other. Beautiful. And then onto the plate. Excellent. Okay, so which one would you choose? If you were going to do a whole entire dessert, which one do you think we should do? Should you do the jam? Yeah. Yeah, because the jam is so tasty, yeah. right? And because not everybody likes chocolate milk or coffee, this is a good option for everyone involved. Okay, so now that we've chosen jelly as our flavor base, all of that very goodness, we are going to dunk all of our ladyfinger cookies into the jam and then start layering it into our pan. Now a tiramisu is a layered dessert, so we are going to layer our cookies with our whipping cream and then another layer of cookies and then another layer of whipping cream and finally finish it off with some chocolate chips and cocoa powder, okay? So go ahead and get started on that, Devin. I'll let you take over, go ahead. Now, Italy is known as one of the fashion capitals of the world. If you look at the shape of Italy on a map, you'll notice that the country looks a little bit like what? A boot. A boot, a high fashion women's boot. So I think it's only fitting that we're using lady finger biscuits because ladies fingers and ladies boots and ladies fashion is very important in the country of Italy. Now the capital of Italy is called Rome. Have you ever heard of Rome before, kids? Yes, you might have heard of Rome or Romans. Rome is a very important part of world history. Now in Rome, you will find all kinds of interesting things to explore, such as the Colosseum. Have you been to the Colosseum? Yes. Yes, what is it like? Well, it's mostly broken down because it's so old. But what is it? Was it a theater? Was it a restaurant? What was it? It was kind of like a theater, 
but not with movies. Oh, what did they do at the Coliseum? Keep going. They as you're took warriors and they fought with lions. Yes. So they had these very special warriors called gladiators, and the gladiators were big and strong and they were fierce. And people would buy tickets to go into the Coliseum to watch animals fight the gladiators. We're talking about lions and tigers. These aren't little kitty cats and dogs, right? I mean, these guys are intense. So they would go to this Coliseum and everybody would cheer for them and hope that they win against the animals. We are going to go to the next layer, which is to add our wonderful whipping cream, which we've sweetened up with some white sugar. And we're going to lay that on top of the cookies, okay? So we're gonna do blob one, two, and three. How does that look? Good? Maybe one for good measure. <laughs> Okay, now using a spatula, this tool is called a spatula. It's nice and soft. We use it for flipping pancakes and all kinds of things in the kitchen. We are going to very gently start to move the whipped cream across the top of the biscuits. Okay, so we're gonna just smooth it out, smoothing it out nice and, nice and kind of flat. All right, good. Okay, so before we move on to the next layer of cookie layering, we are going to add a little bit of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, to the top of our whipped cream because it looks fancy yeah. and it's so yummy, okay? So go ahead and put a little bit right in there. Give a little bit of one of these and look how pretty that looks. Don't you just wanna stick your finger in there and eat it all up? Yeah. I know I do. I love chocolate so much. Now, one of my favorite cities in Italy is called Venice. We love Venice so much because Venice is a city that's built on a series of canals. So it is no cars at all in the city. Remember when we went there? We were so surprised to see that there was absolutely no cars in the whole city. How do people get around? By boat. By boat or by walking on little sidewalks and bridges that go over the canals from one little piece of island. It's kind of a whole bunch of islands stuck together. Yeah and connected by bridges and canals. One of the things people do in Italy is they go on these beautiful black shiny boats called gondolas. Now on gondolas, they have sometimes opera singers who love to sing opera while people are going on the boat through the canals. How cool is that? What do we do next, Evan? Put the whipped cream on. You got it, girl. Let's do some more whipped cream. You know, you can really have not have too much whipped cream in your life, don't you think? Yeah. It's just the best. It's so yummy. From the edges, because we want it to be very beautiful. In cooking, we have something that we do at the end of making a dessert that's called plating. What is plating? Like making it beautiful. Exactly, it's the presentation. When you present your baked goods to someone as your special guest, you always want to make sure that it looks beautiful, that you don't have a kind of a sloppy mess, like did you see that mess I just made right there? I've got to clean that up just a little bit, but I'll do that at the very end, once I've got the rest of my chocolate on here. There are many different recipes for making tiramisu. So this is just one of hundreds of different kinds of recipes. So if you like making a layered dessert, you can play with different kinds of tiramisus, different kinds of trifles, which is another word for a layered dessert. And you can make it with cake instead of cookies. There's all kinds of ways. So you can play with it and have fun as you learn to bake different kinds of things. The last thing that we need to do to finish off our beautiful tiramisu is to garnish it. A garnish in cooking and baking is when you make it look beautiful. You add little finishing touches to make it really sing. So we are going to do the process of putting the cocoa powder on top again. So use your sifter and then go ahead and put some of that into here. Yes, let's make this gorgeous. Look how pretty. Now to finish ours off, we've decided to put, instead of putting berries, we're gonna do some mini chocolate chips because yum, right, yum. So let's go ahead and take a few in our hand and we're just gonna do sprinkling on top. The language they speak in Italy is called Italian. 
And Italian actually sh is a romance language and it shares 89% of its words with the language of French and 83% of its words with the language of Spanish. So if you know some French or Spanish, you'll very easily be able to understand. Isn't that so cool? I think it's such a fun fact. Now this needs to set into the fridge for a couple of hours, at least 30 minutes, but it would be better if it was at least two hours. Yeah. Pop it into the fridge, let it set, which just means that everything kind of gets connected and meets each other and starts to taste really delicious. So we're going to do that now. Now whenever we finish a dessert, we have to take taste. Yeah. Right? Because what's the point of making a delicious dessert if you don't get to try it? So our tiramisu has been sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes and we just can't wait any longer than that because we're so excited to try it and we hope that you are too wherever you are at your house. Okay, so what the process of taking a dessert up out of its original dish and putting it onto a plate is called plating. So what you can do at home is you can play around. Do you want to put a strawberry on top, some raspberries, some chocolate shavings. If you've got chocolate sauce, you can put chocolate sauce all around it. Anyway is fine. It's just so much fun to play with, okay? So let's stop there and let's have a first taste test. Yeah. Thank you so much for baking with us today. And enjoy your tiramisu. Ciao!